Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Real glad that you could join us again. You know, when it comes to dental health care in this country, statistics show that race matters. If you're black, brown, or Native American, it's a lot harder to access dental health care. And the pandemic has made it even more challenging for a lot of us. Here to talk about the burden of these inequities and to explain what can be done to help is Dr. Jeremy Horst, the Director of Clinical Innovation for DentaQuist. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Doctor, and thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Where we're here to talk about disparities in dental health care, Doctor, just how much of a disparity in dental health care do we have in this country? Well, it's a pretty significant disparity. Uh, some examples are that Black and Latinx children have twice as many untreated cavities as white kids. Uh, and American Indian children have twice as many cavities uh, untreated as they do. Um, it, it's pervasive. It affects adults. Um, blacks are, black adults are more likely to have an unmet dental need than whites, similarly by 68%, and Latinx adults by 52%. Um, and Native American folks just really uh, seem to experience the worst uh, brunt of cavities and, and gum disease uh, with just about a quarter of, of them having had a dental visit in the last year. Has any explanation been offered or have you discovered why these disparities exist in the first place? Well, as you know, that's a complex question having to do with our country's long history of systemic racism and, you know, not nearly enough having been done to give back what's been taken from Black, Latinx and American Indian peoples. Um, at the heart of it, it's, it's that racially minoritized people have been kept out of economic opportunity of real healthy food options, uh, which is so essential to oral health. Uh, you know, no sugar, no cavities. Um, right. Processed foods just cause oral disease. Um, but other aspects such as affordable housing, and in particular where we're focused, um, health insurance, really affect access to basic preventive care. Is there anything more that the uh, the current COVID-19 pandemic and systemic racism have further revealed about access to dental health care or the lack thereof? Well, as we all know, COVID-19 is certainly disproportionately impacting communities of color um, yeah, as does oral health uh, problems, as do oral health problems. Um, you know, thankfully, more than ever, folks are using their privilege to improve the system for all this year in 2020. But the, but the pandemic has certainly cast a spotlight on inequities in, in health care and health care access. Um, and oral health is no exception. I'd like to ask if uh, maybe you could expound uh, a bit on some of the major problems created by these inequities. Well, what we found at DentaQuest Partnership um, is that folks who have not had a preventive dental visit in the last three years are much more likely to experience the worst of uh, COVID-19. With these unique challenges, what do you think some of the solutions to the problems might be? It's about policy. It's about access to care. And so what we're asking today is that everyone listening to, to give your state legislators a call uh, and ask them to expand and protect the adult Medicaid and Medicare dental coverage. Uh, as we saw from the Affordable Care Act, it uh, gave dental access uh, to all children covered by Medicaid. Uh, but adults were left out. And what that means is that it disproportionately leaves out Black, Latinx, and American Indian peoples. Um, and so what we're asking for to, to address this lack of access to basic preventive oral health services, basic dental prevention, um, is, is to call your legislators to, to ask them to put it in place. And, and if you happen to be in one of the states that has it, to, to protect it, because it's going to be on the chopping block um, as, as we all suffer the financial fallout from, from the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Horst, I appreciate you joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning. And I'd also like to tell our listeners that a great resource to find out more about DentaQuest is www.dentaquest.com. Thank you very much, doctor, once again. And thank you for the honor of being with you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download it, SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.